this is a Zingari, and it's the 2010. Of course, this is IGT Toscana, Tuscan, Super Tuscan blend. Um, we've had a couple of vintages of this wine, and uh, it's always a favorite. It's always good, and it always seems to over deliver for the money. Um, the, uh, the winery is called Petra. And Petra is owned by the Moretti family, who are owners of the Bella Vista winery in northern Italy in the Francia Corta um, DOC. A Francia Corta is like um, Italy's answer to Champagne. It's where they, um, it's a cool climate region where they produce. Uh, champagne method sparkling wines that are of superb quality and uh, you know, the Moretti's uh, uh, have been very very successful producing these Bella Vista Francia Cortas and they wanted a property in Tuscany so they purchased this land in Marema and they built a super super modern fantastic wine making facility and uh, the rest is history <laughs> This wine is their most um, affordable. It's a blend of uh, Merlot, Sangiovese, Syrah, and Petit Verdot, uh, pretty much 25% of each. And, um, you know, those are really um, the grapes that, that are really grow best in that area. Um, you know, it's Maremo right on the coast of Tuscany. So you have the beautiful sun-drenched coastline and then all the nice cooling effects of the Mediterranean. And the Sangiovese obviously does well there as it does in all of Tuscany. But um, Merlot excels there. Syrah grows beautifully there. And of course, uh, the, you know, the other Bordeaux varietals. So that's what they put together in this wine. That's a nice... A spicy nose. Hmm. It's berries. There's some nice floral, floral notes. Like um, jasmine or uh, carnation, along with uh, cherry, blackberry, and a lot of spice. Maybe brown spice or cedar or uh, tobacco. Mm. Plums. It's a really kind of rich, lively nose. Let's taste it. It's pretty lively on the palate too. Bold, a lot of flavor. Um, those spicy notes really carrying um, some black plum, black cherry, um, those floral notes, a little bit of chocolate in there too. Um, it's a, uh, it's kind of a mouth-filling wine. Um, the tannins are there, but they're, they're uh, sort of chewy. Gives a little bit of nice texture. Um, but this will match up with, uh, with some nice spicy dishes, you know, if you like uh, Mexican food, some, stuff like that. This will match up beautifully with that. Um, it will also cellar a little bit, um, mature, develop, show some nice, uh, some nice changes over a few years in your cellar. Anyway, happy drinking. <laughs>